Good morning. Happy Friday. <clears throat> it's going to be a beautiful day. Cold start, but sun's out, full moon's out, and uh, looks like it's going to be a wonderful day. Right. So today is Pilates stretch. So let's not delay. Let's go all the way up with a nice big deep breath in, going all the way up to the sky, reaching nice and high, and then slowly and controlled, release that breath. And again, nice big deep breath in, going all the way up and down to your belly, reach and release. One more time, all the way up. And back. Let's take our right arm, three circles all the way up and around. And three all the way back. And the other arm. It's supposed to be a gorgeous weekend this weekend. And the other way, actually all for next week, staying mid-teens, sunny, nice big shoulder rolls. One, two, three, and forwards. One, two, and three. Let's reach those arms out nice and wide. <clears throat> Relax those shoulders down. Let's reach our index fingers. Loud fingers. Feel the tendons that you're stretching. Ring fingers and baby. And let's roll those wrists. Roll those wrists around the other way. All right, we're gonna pulse it forward for four, three, two, and one, I want you to really lengthen. Palms are backwards, shoulders are relaxed. Pulse it back. Two, three, and four. Palms are up, push it up. Two, three, and four, and down. One, two, three, and four. And let's do six circles. And backwards. And then reach high up to the sky. And just slowly swaying side to side. Gradually get that a bigger sway. Pushing your rib cage first. Leading with that rib cage. And all the way up to the sky again for six full body squats. Coming down and up. Squeeze those glutes. One, two, I want you to exaggerate your breath. Filling those lungs. We're stretching the diaphragm. Squeeze those glutes. Let's do one more. And coming all the way back down. Give those arms a nice little shake. All right, air squats up and around. One, two, three, and the other way. Three, two, and one, and the other leg. One, two, three, and the other way. Two, and three. And let's go all the way up on our tippy toes. All right, down on one, up on two. We're squeezing those calves. All the way up, 
and coming all the way down. And let's just roll our ankles. And roll the other way. And the other foot. And the other way. All right, and on the outside of that right foot. And on the inside. And up on those toes, pushing that arch forward. Roll across those toes. And bring that carpet in, squeezing that carpet with your toes, bringing your arch up. When that arch is up, try to relax those toes, keeping the arch up. And give it a little shake. All right, let's roll the other foot. And the other way. And on the outside. And on the inside. Up on those toes, scrunch across. Pushing that arch forward. And bring that carpet in. And give a little shake. All right, and from here, we're going to be doing a squat up onto the tippy toes. All right, so shoulders are back. Rib cage is up off your hip bones. All right, squat it down up on your toes, trying to hold it. Squat it down, up. Squat it down, up. Come on, up, squat it down, booty back, up, and down. All right, <clears throat> that's standing nice and straight. Again, get that rib cage up, tilt that pelvis just that tiny little bit. We're bringing this leg up, okay, and we're rolling our wrists and our ankle, working on our balance, open and scrunch. Open wide and scrunch, kick it out, and down. <laughs> all right, same thing on the other side, all right? So standing tall, tilt that pelvis, bring that leg up. So you're trying to get your hips as square as possible. That's why we tilt our pelvis, lock them in. All right, and let's roll those wrists and ankle around. Do whatever you want to do. Point and flex. Shake it out. Bring her down. All right. Let's give her a couple of good shakes. Want you breathing out. Puffs of air out. Awesome. All right. Let's just give her some nice big hat all the way up. Move those organs around. Up your arms. Up your neck. Cross your face. And behind your neck, right underneath your skull, let's wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Way underneath that skull. And let's just shift our eyeballs right to left. Up and down. Awesome stuff. Woo! All right. Our warm up. All right. So let's get our heart rate up a little bit. We're going to do our step one, two. So back a bit and starting with that right foot, right, left kick. Right, left, extend, and swing those arms. Rib cage is up. Nice controlled breathing. One more. 
And let's switch sides. Left, right, kick. Left, right, extend. Lengthen your core. One more, kick it, and extend it. All right, <clears throat> side lunge with a crunch, All right? So let's step it to the right, booty goes way back, up, knee to elbow, one, two, feeling this today after hockey last night, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And let's do the other side. Step it out, booty back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, really feel my legs, and eight. Wow, they're heavy today. Whew. Okay, squat and extend. Ready? Squat it down, low, extend to the right, and left. Lengthening that whole side, your toe and your baby finger up, lengthen. It's all about extension. One more. Okay, nicely done. All right, I'm just gonna move my knot up a bit. Okay, so let's stand at the end of your mat and let's bring it all the way up to the sky and back down, really reaching high, right belly in, come down those side walls. I'm gonna stay here for a bit, have a nice stretch, so pulse those legs out, warming up your hammies and your glutes, bellies pulled into your back. And when you're ready, put your heels down, forward fold, just lying, staying here. You can sway it side to side nice and slowly because it is a big stretch of that lower back. Just want to warm everything up first. All right, arms are spaghetti. We're going to do a roll up. Center vertebrae all the way up. All right, start your roll. All the way up to the sky and back down. Soften in the knees, and this time your right arm's longer than your right, right arm's longer than your left. We're opening up that left side, slowly, slowly, slowly rolling all the way up. Roll your shoulders back, all the way up and back down again. And again, this time your left arm longer than your right. Finding that lowest vertebrae, girls, boys. All right, and rolling up. Took me a little bit to get the lowest vertebrae. And let's come all the way back up and back down again, going down to downward dog. Walk those hands out. And again, pulse those feet, heels up and down. Planting those heels down, let's push away from our knuckles. 
up on those knuckle pads, pushing our chest towards our knees, our bellies pulled to the sky, and sway those hips side to side, nice and slowly, getting that stretch. Nice controlled breathing in and out. Sway it, feel the stretch in your arm, under your armpit, that and your upper rib cage is right there, your traps, your lats. Okay, let's bring that right leg up high behind you. Three kicks. Bend that knee and look underneath your right shoulder, reaching that knee to that back wall. Bring that leg up and bring it all the way through to your right thumb. We're in low lunge. Let those hips sink. All right, into the mat. And let's bring that right arm all the way up. Down and let's switch legs, pushing those shoulders back into their sockets. Sink down, left arm. Switch legs. And we're going to go up to high lunge. So bring those hands in front of your right foot. Power up. Belly to your back. Up and down for one, two, three, four, five. And six, awesome stuff. Bring those arms all the way down those side walls, reaching inside of that right leg. Drop that left leg, we're going into lizard. So wiggle that right foot out to the edge. Open up this leg nice and slowly. Bring that knee back in. And if you can, Put a little pressure, pushing the knee into your palm, going both ways. So knee to palm, knee to palm, and bring it in. Knee to palm this way, and bring it out. <sighs> pushing knee to palm, not palm to knee. Nicely done. All right, keeping that foot out to the side. Okay, we're going down on our forearms if you can. If you have a yoga block or a pillow, you can always go uh, have your arms on that. And back up to high lizard, bringing this foot back into the center, going up on your heel. We're gonna do a, a hammy stretch from here. So making sure your hips are square. So your hip is over top of that left knee and your right leg is coming directly out from your other hip. Push your booty back. You're gonna feel the stretch coming all the way down that leg, right? And then bring your chest down and breathe. Keeping an eye on your hips. Great stuff. All right, coming back up um, to high plank. Belly to your back, push those shoulders back in and we're going down to Chaturanga. All right, so going all the way down. Push your chest up, baby cobra. Let those hips sink. <sighs> Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Come all the way back down again and push up again. Let those hips drop into the mat. <sighs> Coming all the way back down, let's push all the way back up to high plank, to downward dog. Push away from those hands. Sway it side to side again. We're getting a little more warmed up, so you can start moving a little 
quicker. But control breathing. There is some stuff and then bring that left leg up. Three kicks. Bend that knee and look underneath your left arm. And up and all the way through to your left thumb. Low lunge. And this time right arm all the way up. We're opening up our chest and our packs. Switch it up. One more switch. And we're going up to high lunge. Both paw, hands in front, power up with that front leg. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Belly to your back, right? Because I don't want you arching too much or leaning forward. I want you nice and tall. And let's bring those hands all the way down. Inside of that left foot, wiggle that left foot out. All right. So palm to, to knee, push the knee into palm and bring that leg in. Go on the outside, push the knee into the palm and bring that leg out. All right, leave it out there and we're going down into lizard. So down on your forearms. All right, coming back up, wiggle that foot back to center up on the heel. Going to do a nice hammy stretch, so make sure your hips are square. Booty goes back. And then bring your chest down. Oh, I'm really feeling this. This is why you need to make sure your hips are square because you're stretching your lower back as well as your hammy. Come all the way back up. We're going to go up to high plank. Push those shoulders back. We're going to hold this for 10. Belly in. 10. 9. 8. Lengthen your head and your feet to those opposite walls. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Two and one. Let's bring those knees down to the mat. Go right in to child's pose. Walk those hands further away. Rolling those hands down the mat toward your knees and up your quads. And we're getting right into snowbirds from here. So extend that right leg out from the, your right hip. Rib cages up, core, arms are out and relax down. All right, reaching. Okay, let's bring that wing down, keeping the belly pulled to your back, up a centimeter, coming across to your nose and back. Two, three, keeping that rib cage up off your hip bones. Five and six and wing dip down, coming all the way up. We're gonna hold it up here. All right, reach down that right leg, reach up high up to the sky, feel that stretch. We're really stretching a lot here. And six wing dips. One, look at those fingers. Two, three, four, really lengthen from your outer foot right up to your to your baby top of your fingertips five and six 
Bring that hand down and up onto your hip. Toe pointing down. Our leg is getting heavy. Up and down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And toe in the front, heel in the back. One. Feeling your hip open and close. Two, three, and four. Lengthen and crunch it. Bringing that belly into your back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and lengthen. And we're coming all the way up to the other side. So outer foot flat on the floor. Shoulders are back, rib cage up, reaching for those opposite walls. Let's go down, up. Oh, sorry, down, up a centimeter. Across for six, five, belly in, four, three, two, and one. Wing dips up and up, holding it. And one. Two, keeping the core engaged. Three. Four. Five. And six. And all the way up. And all the way back down. Hand on hip. Toe pointing down. One. Two. Have that leg nice and heavy. Three. Four, five, seven, and eight. Lengthen. I really want you to lengthen. Belly to your back. And then crunch it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all the way up. And I forgot heel toe, right? So we're gonna do that now. Open and close those hips. Close, open, feel them opening and closing. One more. Okay, and now we're just going to switch all the way around to tabletop, three clicks of the heel. Make a wish for today. Okay, bird dog. So arms are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. Extend one arm and left leg, belly to your back. And breathe. Really lengthen those limbs. Bring that breath to your belly and back out. Have a little quick look at your knee, your right knee. Is it underneath your right hip? All right, let's slide it out to the side for six, five, four, three, two and one bring that hand back down leaving that left leg at three o'clock for rainbow taps so bring that foot all the way over to the other side look at those toes and then bring it back for one two keep the belly pulled to your back three four five and six and bring it in and we're going directly up to the other side so left arm right leg shoulder over top of the hand hip over top of that other knee lengthen and we're breathing
and slide it out to the side for six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it down all the way down to child's pose. Walk those hands over to the right, taking that left cheek off the left heel, and breathe. And then all the way over to the other side, same thing. Back to center. Bring those forearms down. Open up those knees. Feet are, toes are together. We're going to do some shoulder work. So let's bring that right arm all the way up. Look at those fingers and thread between your elbow and your knee. Palm is up and cheek comes down. And repeat. Three times. This time, reaching up, we're going to bring it all the way over to our opposite hip and just look up. And bring that hand back down. Same thing on this side, right arm all the way up. Take it slow, right? Range of motion, that's what we're working on. Thread the needle. Cheek and down. Nice big deep breath in and out. Reaching for that wall. Back up. All the way up. Look at those fingers way up there. And then grab your right hip and looking up. And let's bring that hand back down to the mat. All right, so let's walk those arms down the mat on your forearms, okay? Shoulders are over top of those elbows. All right, bring it out a bit. I was too thin. We're going to push the your hand and your forearms into the mat. Resist bringing them back to your knees and with a nice big easy breath out, start sitting down on your feet all the way. And then back up and repeat. Push into the mat, resist bringing them to your knees and as you're sitting down, keeping that resistance three times. All right, and then we're going to take our hand at two o'clock, your left one on top, stir them over top, same thing, push in, resist bringing back to that left leg, slowly sit down, and repeat three times. And then go to 10 o'clock, same thing. Oh, felt a lot of cracks there. And then come all the way back. Bring those knees together and or you can leave them apart. We're just going back to child's pose. Let's bring those hands back behind our, our backs and entwine those fingers. And we're going to bring them up 
behind our backs, nice and slowly with each breath in and out. And bring them all the way back down. And roll all the way back up, down the mat, up your quads. And let's just have a nice little back arch here. Oh. And let's sit down with our legs out in front of us. Switch here. I think I'm just going to tilt this just a tiny little bit. There we go. All right. Here. All right. So let's sitting up nice and tall. Make sure I have the room. All right. Let's start shaking those legs. And we're going to start widening them, widening them, widening them out. So I get up there on those sit bones. You open your legs as far as you can. And let's sit up nice and tall. Okay, your rib cage is up. Your shoulders are nice and relaxed down. Bring your hands out in front. Okay, but when you're reaching, I want you to push those shoulders back. Right? Okay, your rib cage is up off your hip bones. As mine just went down, we're going to take that right arm, swing it. See how my arm is straight? I want you to try to keep your arm straight. Palm goes up, this hand reaching out, both arms trying to keep them straight, okay? And then once we're over top of our, our leg, bring your chest down, breath out. Coming all the way back up, turn up. Um, switch it, rib cage up, and then stretching out. Hi, hey. Come back up, coming all the way around one more time. Back up, don't hit. Last one on the side. And come all the way back up to center. All right, we're gonna walk down in front. So keeping your back nice and straight so your belly's pulled in, rib cages up. Just start walking those hands. Now you're looking down. Walk all the way out as far as you can. Feel the pressure, not hurt. Nice big deep breath in and out. And then just collapse down wherever you are. And push all the way back up. Those legs a nice little shakeroo. I'm not closing them all the way, but just bringing them in a little more, bit more. Okay, let's bend this right knee, bring it into your inner thigh. Okay, and just try to get that leg down a bit. Keeping up there on your, see I was just, ooh, there it's down. Keeping your bum on the mat. All right, we're going to do three crazies on this side. So your right hand comes back, swing it around. Nice and slowly, reaching for that back wall, and then come back down and around for one. Two. And three. Switch legs. And again, let's just play with this leg a little bit, letting it just plop down. And then swing it around. One, two, and 
then three. And remember, Pilates is all about extension and range of motion. We're trying to increase that and working with your body in the right directions where there should be, right? Like your shoulders should be back and down. Your hips should always try to be square, all right? And your core is your rib cage always up off those hip bones, all right? All right, let's bring our feet in front of us sitting nice and tall and we're going to bring our hands up biceps by your ears reaching for the sky we're going to come down across that wall to the to the wall and then down the wall reaching nice and slowly breathe breath work is nice and controlled letting all that air out and bringing it back in and then just relax and start massaging your feet or your calves. Nice big breaths in and out. All right, slowly roll all the way back up. And we're going to come all the way back down. So tilt your pelvis. We're going to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Lengthen, reaching for those opposite walls. Your belly's pulled to the back. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Hands out to T. Knees come up over top of your hips. And let's bring those knees over to the right, looking to the left. Hand comes up on top of those knees, looking over to the left and breathe. Bring those legs back up over top of your knee, uh, your hips again, and then over to the left, looking to the right. We're in supplying twist and breathe. Come back up to center. And let's hug both knees, roll side to side. Bring those feet back down to the mat. Take that right foot, cross it over your left knee, open up that leg. Bring that knee towards your belly button and you're pushing that knee into the palm again and opening up that leg, keeping that resistance and repeat. Three times. And then let's grab behind our right knee, pulling our right knee towards our left shoulder and open up that right knee. And release. And repeat. Pull and push. Making sure that, that your foot is in line with your heel, no, sorry, foot is in line with your knee and bring it all the way back down. Let's give those legs a nice little shake and room. And left leg over top of right knee now, open it up and then bring that knee towards your belly button, pushing your knee to palm, Ooh, open up, repeat. Knee to palm. Let's see how that feels. And then grabbing behind your right knee. Pull, line up your leg and hip and release. Pull and push.
and release. And let's extend those knee legs out, reaching for those opposite walls. You're going to grab your left knee, bringing it into your chest and lengthening that right leg, belly to the mat. Hug, lengthen and switch. Really lengthen, switch. That knee, that's bent knee is coming right to your shoulder. So if your hips, it's in line with your hip, lengthen. And let's just roll right over onto our side from here. All right, we're gonna do some clam work from here. So line up. All right, so from here, we're gonna lift our waistline up off the mat, feet up, and we're doing 15 clams, two, three, four, five, six, seven, feeling it in your glute, not your hip flexor, not in the front, 10, five, four, waistline is still up, you have room for a little mouse to crawl underneath, two, and one, all right, lengthen that leg out, bring it out in front of your, your hip, and six circles, six, five, four, Three, two, one, the other way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Extend both legs. I'm going to walk the dog. One, two, belly to your back. Three, four, five, and six, all right, and both legs together coming up and down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's just roll right over onto the other side. All right. Waistline up so you have a little mouse run right underneath. Feet goes up. One, two, feeling it in the glute. Three, if you're feeling it in the front, just move your feet backwards or forwards or further away. You're going to find it. Just keep moving and then you'll find where that magic spot is for you. Ten. 11, I want you to squeeze that glute, 12, 13, 14, and 15, all right, straighten that leg out, bring it right out in front of that hip, six circles, one, two, belly to your back, three, four, five, and six, and the other way, six, five, four, three, two and one all right both legs together okay up and down for one two three four five and six and walk the dog keeping the belly pulled to your back i want us to work the lower abs here five and six all right and from here we're going to lie down on our backs you can just lie in the same way i just like to switch directions here all right we're going to work our core now all right so let's get set first all right so i want you to lengthen your bodies I want you to push your belly to the mat. You've got that blueberry spine, push your belly to the mat. Let's roll those hips towards your belly button. All right, we're gonna bring those feet up above your hips. I don't want them past your hips or below your hips. I want them right above. 
All right, and we're just going to raise the roof up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, and then I want, to, we're going to just hold, we're gonna do some bicycles from here. All right, so again, our bellies pull to the mat, you're rolling your hips. I want you to bring that knee right in. All right, let's do hands behind head and shoulders are up off the mat, All right? And we're going to go knee to opposite elbow and we're going to pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch knees, pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, belly to the mat, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, lengthen that leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Last one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Bring those knees right up, uh, legs right up to the sky. Your hands can come down to the side if you like, but I still want your shoulders, I want your shoulders up off the mat, but your neck is in line with your spine, so you're looking straight up. We're just going to bring those, we're gonna do some heel taps, but I really want you to focus on your belly. So you've got that blueberry spine, push the belly to the mat, roll those hips, bring those heels down nice and slowly, and back up. You can have your hands behind your head too if you just want to cradle your neck. One. Two. Don't go anywhere past your hips. Nice and slowly. Three. We're isolating here. Belly to the mat. Roll those hips towards your belly. It's button. Three. Breathe out. and bring them all the way back down to the mat. All right, we're gonna go bring our shoulders and our head directly up to the sky. So the shoulders are up off the mat. Everything else is on the mat. Pulse it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it down. Bring shoulders up off the mat. Your neck is not strained, you're just relaxing and pulse it. One. We're working their upper abs. Bring it down. Mm. One more set. Up, pulse it. And bring it down. Bring those hands down to their sides. We're gonna bring, again, our shoulders up off the mat and your head. And you're just gonna go side to side, reaching down your leg, belly to the mat. So your shoulders are just slightly off the mat. And coming all the way back down. Hands overhead, lengthen, and we're going to roll right over to Superman. And we're going to bring our forehead down, looking straight down at the mat, belly to your back, lengthening your limbs. We're going to go up into Superman, both arms and legs, reaching for those opposite walls and down up one two three and down up one two three and down 
And this time we're gonna stay up, up, and cactus bringing those elbows to your side and back out for one, two, three, four, five, and six. And bring it back down. Oof. All right, we're gonna leave our, our hands down. We're gonna bring our feet up off the mat and let's just do little kicks. Belly to your mat, back. We're reaching for the opposite walls. And bring it down. Let's bring our um, hands to our shoulders <laughs> and push all the way up to child's pose. Nice big deep breath in and out. All right, let's roll, bringing our hands down the mat towards your knees and rolling all the way back up and roll your head all the way back. All the way back. I don't know what I was saying. Anyways, and then let's sit cross-legged from here. I don't know where I was. All right. Sitting cross-legged, let's open up those knees. Put a little pressure on them. And let's just switch legs. This side, I'm so much closer, right? Eh? Getting those knees all the way down. All right, let's take that left arm and put it over top. Turn around for two nice big deep breaths in and out. Relax those legs. Rip cage up off your hip bone still. And soles of your feet together, bring them in. Open up your legs. Remember, we're always trying to increase our range of motion, making it comfortable so that you're flexible and you're mobility is so much easier to move around. All right, knee taps, pushing your hip flexor forward. Oh, I need that stretch, right? And you will feel different things different days. I'm really feeling that my quad, that must have been from hockey last night. Stretch it out. And do one more. And come all the way back and sitting however you want to sit and sitting just nice and tall. Shoulders are back and down. Let's take that right ear over top of your right shoulder. Reach that left ear up to the sky. Eyes are up. Eyes or eyeballs are down. Back to center, bring it around. All right, other ear, okay? Keeping those shoulders still. Okay, eyeballs up. Eyeballs down. And center. Big nose circles. Other way. In, out, out, in, out, in, out, in. Bringing it in and that's the way you should be. Shoulders are relaxed down in their sockets, your chin is back. So your whole spine and neck is in one great big long line. And smile. Three rock and rolls to ragdoll. Let's do it. 
Massage that spine. One, two, and three. Okay, we're all the way back up to rag doll, folding those arms. Three nice big deep breaths in and out. All right. Let's give our legs a nice, great big hug. Mm. Thank you, legs, for letting me play hockey and curl and golf next week. Thank you. And arms are spaghetti, soft bend in those knees. We're going to roll up that spine, really stretching. So straighten those knees out, belly to your back. Every single vertebrae. And roll those shoulders back. And big old shake a -roop. High fives. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you on Monday.